Hello, this is going to be a brief demonstration of the new Agent Base installer for OpenShift 4.12. My name is Zane Bitter, and I'm the technical lead for the team that built this new installation method. The Agent installer produces an ISO image that you can boot with your own automation. Once started, it runs the OpenShift installation for you, and it works even in air-gapped environments without requiring any extra machines. The OpenShift install binary here is the same OpenShift install that you may recognize already from previous releases of OpenShift. The agent sub command is new in OpenShift 4.12. That's how we'll access the agent installer. Configuration is driven from the same install config file as you would use with OpenShift install for other installation methods. This contains the definition for our cluster, with all the information like the name, the number of workers, the number of control plane nodes. In this case, we're using a complex cluster, with three control planes, no workers. And also the platform definition, so the API VIPs. In the agent based install method, there's an additional configuration file the agent config. This contains the IP address of the host where all the agents will check in, and also host-specific config, including root device hints to select the disk to install to, and network configuration. Network configuration is in NM state format, so we can support any network configuration that is available in NM state, and the separate configuration for each host. So you can use it for static IPs, as well as VLANs, bonds, and that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and create our installation ISO. Agent create image will create the image. So this has created some output files, and the obvious one there is the ISO image. We're going to attach that. So this is really the point where your own automation can take over. The installer has generated the ISO for you, and you can boot it on the host in any way that makes sense for your environment. In my case, I'm just attaching it to some VMs that I defined earlier. We have a look at that script. So it's just looping over the three control plane nodes in my compact cluster and creating a low domain for them. The other thing we have here is the auth directory. This contains the kubeconfig file that you use for interacting with the cluster once it's created and also the password for the OpenShift console. Now the installation is running itself, but we can monitor it from the command line. So one thing that the agent gives us is that it's running on the host before the installation starts and it can run validations to check whether the environment is actually suitable for installing a cluster. So if there's any problems with the setup, you can find out about them early and often even fix them in real time without starting the installation again.
There we go, all the validations are now valid. The cluster is ready for install. So the process is driving itself here. It's completely hands off. Once the ISO is booted, if the validations pass, it will drive itself through to conclusion. And that's the conclusion of our demo. See the installation finished. You can try it out for yourself with OpenShift 4.12.